Welcome to our lecture online. As you will find sometimes, there's different patterns you can see. They often end up with the same solution, but you can see that not everybody will find the same pattern or find it in the same way. So let's take a look at these numbers. 6, 9, 15, and 27. What do you think the next number should be? So when I look at it, I can see, well, let's see here. If I double 6, I get 12. That means 9 is 3 less than double 6. If I double this number, I get 18. Minus 3 gives me 15. If I double this number, that gives me 30. Minus 3 gives me 27. It looks like one of the patterns is that I can double the previous number, subtract 3 from that, and I get the next number. So here we can see that 2 times 6 minus 3 equals 9. 2 times 9 minus 3 equals 15. 2 times 15, oop, 15 minus 3 gives me 27. So therefore, 2 times 27 minus 3 equals 51. So I think the number should be 51. But then you can say, well, let's use the traditional way. How much does each number increase each time? Well, 6 plus 3 gives me 9. 9 plus 6 gives me 15. 15 plus 12 gives me 27. So notice that the pattern also appears that each time I add a number, I double what I add from the previous time, I double what I add from the previous time, which means if I double this, 20, 12 doubled is 24. If I add 24 to 27, I also get 51. So notice there's often different ways in which you can look at the pattern to end up with the very same solution. In this case, I guess the title, multiple solutions, isn't really correct because there's one solution with multiple methods to get to the same solution. And that's how it's done.